This is a Strong's exhaustive concordance. This is very, very important. You look up the word, it's alphabetical. And if you want to look up something about sorrow, you can come in here and look up sorrow. It's very, very small. It gives you the, the chapter and verse. In this case, a very small sentence. Very, very, very dangerous. Do you know why? It takes stuff out of context. Very, very, very good resource. I think a wrench is an amazing tool, but when used as a hammer, it doesn't work so well. I encourage everybody to have one of these, but don't let this do the work for you. Study to show yourself approved. Don't trust him. <laughs> you got to trust God and his illuminating your mind. I think it's very powerful, but it's also very dangerous. Another resource is good. This is Nave's topical. You have a topic. You have a topic and let's say pride. This is good. You're struggling with pride. You can come in here and look up these characteristics, pride. And you say, these are things that you do not want to add to your life, okay? You don't want to add pride, but it tells you a little bit about pride. Again, very, very, very good. It gives several verses surrounding it. You'll have less problems with context. You'll have better contextual uh, understanding and less pollution from just something like the Strong's, which would just give you just a little snippet, half a sentence with a bolt. Very, very, very good. You will use these references your whole life. I use them all the time. Where pastors and laymen get in trouble is when they do a search on the word pride. And there it is. There's a verse that says pride. They memorize it, but they don't know what it's talking about. And then they assume that it is what they think it means as opposed to actually what the context demands. It's context, context, context. You've got to have the right context, right? So get those two resources and put them on your bookshelf. Use them but do not abuse them. Don't let that do the work for you.